Do any of you guys remember last year when I posted the video about the lady who got engaged to the Eiffel Tower? And like she literally just went up to it and like sat on it in between her legs and just was like making out with it. It sounds bad when I explain it out loud. But that like, that was a video I did, right? I found something even crazier. <laughs> Now, this video isn't going to be me expressing what is on my YouTube homepage because if I tell you, you wouldn't believe it. No, I'm kidding. I mean, it's not that crazy, but it's a little weird. It's a little extravagant. So today I actually came across another video and the series for it is Objectum Sexuality. And so I'm assuming it's people who I guess have a love or interest for like inanimate objects, like stuff that does not move, like literally, like I'm not even joking. This pen, I am sexually attracted to this pen. I don't know where it's gonna go, but like, you know what I mean? Like, that's their love interests, I guess. So here we have a lady named Amanda who apparently has a love for a chandelier. And I figured, hey, let's check it out because a lot of my viewers are, you know, weird kind of like me. Probably not so weird. I, I don't know, like this is, I have no choice but to do this. And what I will say before we do start this video is if you are new, please subscribe. This is your perfect opportunity because shit's about to hit the fan. It's gonna get wicked. And if you like wickedness, <laughs> but without further ado, let's just hop right into this one. Um, and just brace, just brace yourselves because you, you know what I'm about. A woman who's engaged to the light of her life. I don't think my relationship is outrageous. It's, it's normal to me. <laughs> Did she suck the light? She literally sucked. Like she sucked. The little, the little piece of glass, the shade, the lamp. She she sucked it on camera. I know y'all saw that. That's gnarly. Sucked it within 15 seconds. I ain't never seen that before. I'm so, I, uh. Meet Amanda Liberty from the UK, who's an objectum sexual, which means she is attracted to objects and not people. That's gorgeous. I first fell in love with an object when I was about 14 years old, and this was my drum kit. I felt confused to begin with. Why was I loving a drum kit? And if I tried to explain it to other people, which I did, some people just said, oh, it's wrong, or it's unnatural, or you shouldn't be doing that. 14's quite an early age on to be, uh, ooh. Now, ha like, being in love with your drum set, I, I feel like that's no problem, right? But the thing is, like, s sexually, that's where you take it a step further, and you really kind of do have to explain it to some people, because, like, we, we're not probably gonna understand as much. I love roller coasters, right? Like, me, Jason, I love, like, I literally love roller coasters. I have an addiction for it. I have no fears when it comes to roller coasters. I will ride every single ride. What did he say? But, like, you wouldn't catch me after the park closes sneaking in to, like, hump the trains or, like, the, the handlebars or the, the railings on the, you know, you know what I mean? Like, it only goes so far because it's not a person. I can't feel anything. So, Amanda, here's my question before we run it back. At 14, what were you doing with the drum set? I hope we weren't inserting zero objects that's early zero objects don't do none of that that's because if like imagine your mom catch you with an object up let's play it because shit i ain't never i ain't sticking no stick in, uh up a stick no but amanda ignored the naysayers and followed her heart and the object of her desire soon turned from her drum kit to the statue of liberty i fell in love with her figure but i also fell in love with the energy that she was giving me amanda has traveled to the u.s six times to gaze longingly at the 93 meter tall statue she affectionately calls libby she's kind of like a motherly figure as in she just wanted to look after you and and do right by you and this beautiful see people like this is it's, it's really crazy because like she seems like a very nice person you know what i mean like if we're gonna be honest and i love that she loves like different arts and like just actual objects and like she has a place in her heart for things that make her happy right palms itchy i'm sorry but it's still a bit awkward for me to know that she not only loves these objects you know things that can't move phone case but sexually where do, where does the, the 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 sex come in because like i remember in school learning if you stick stuff up yourself that ain't supposed to be up there you can get sick yo no no spot might be a little what is it called? deteriorated something like that like you might die so the sex part i'm not really familiar with you could tell i'm getting a little nervous i'm sorry i really do appreciate that she does have a love for the arts i really do that makes me happy but the sex that's where I have question galore. To show her commitment to Libby, Amanda changed her surname by Depol to Liberty. But a few years ago, her head was turned and she fell head over heels with a chandelier. I wasn't looking for anyone else because I was madly in love with the Statue of Liberty. So it came as a complete shock and a surprise. When I first saw Lumiere online, it was definitely love at first sight. 
but at the same time, I didn't think I would be able to have her. I missed out on the name. She she named the uh, the the, uh, the ooh the chandelier. She named it. Wow. I didn't even realize like at the beginning that she literally. There's so many lamps in her crib. There's so many lamps. And I did peep that she mentions she wasn't looking for anyone else because she already had her eyes on the Statue of Liberty. And I remember specifically a year ago, I had this exact same question with the lady who fell in love with the Eiffel Tower. If you were to fall in Walmart and break your arm, you can't call the Eiffel Tower to come help you. You cannot call the Statue of Liberty to come help you. You got to call 911. So if you know that these objects, like they can't consent anything, you only give. You only give. You will never receive. The only time you receive is if, I guess you kind of forcefully receive through like touching it physically or you know what I mean? I'm getting all scientific. I am not that damn smart. But like that's the confusing part to me when it comes to this whole ordeal is like, where's the divide? That bitch broken. Just because of her being in Germany and I just thought it would be impossible to get her. But as I discover more and more often in life, nothing is impossible. <laughs> Amanda had the 91 year old chandelier who she calls Lumiere shipped over from Germany. And despite their 57 year age gap, they have a loving relationship. What first attracted me to Lumiere was her arms and the way that they are uh, shaped. Libby, Lydia, Lot, L L L I, I keep, they, I don't, you named it. And they said they. So they can be referred to inanimate objects now? Like, bruh. And I don't want to hear nobody say, well, you're gay, so I thought you were supposed to know. I don't know this shit. How the fuck would I know? I don't know. I like cars and like roller coasters and sh I don't know what to do. I don't know. Despite the 57 year age gap, they have a, the, a, a strong love for, you know, Hmm, jeez, 90 something year old lamp. And at the bit, like y'all saw that she like a Tootsie Pop. That's the part I don't get. Cause like they can't talk to you. They can't communicate. Like, I know y'all, I know y'all, I know, I know, I know y'all get, I'm sorry. She's really elegant and graceful. And she's really gentle and she's just really, she's just absolutely gorgeous. I love cleaning her ball. It's my favorite part to clean on a chandelier. She's fussy woman, she's more fussy than I am. <laughs> <laughs> this feels so good. I have about 50 chandeliers, and what I love about them is they're beautiful, they're interesting, there's so much variety in them. I'm sorry, she got a little, a little, she got a little freaky over that. She got, she got a, you heard the giggles. <laughs> like, my gosh. I just didn't know this was, like, I, I didn't know it got deep like this. You know what I mean? It's my fault for it being on my homepage. So you can't really blame me there, but still, like, like, imagine if I just literally, bro, because it's like, it's inanimate. If I was just like, oh, my chapstick, my, my lip balm is just... <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, I love restoring them. I think they're sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bro, she's like sucking it. She's sucking it. Let's be fair. She's sucking it like a lozenger. <laughs> and keep in mind, I don't hate this lady whatsoever. I hope people just don't look at me and just assume, oh, I'm some. It's not even about that. I don't know her. She does not know me. There's no hate, but I'm confused as hell. She's sucking. She's sucking the. Ooh. <laughs> she's sucking the lamp. Uh, the, the, chand the chandelier. But also, the chandelier is in its 90s. So, ain't that a bit aged? Like, also, here's another thing about inanimate objects. Since they just kind of exist, they technically can't die. You know what I mean? So, like, when does the lamp, when, when does the end of the life for the lamp come? The, uh, the chandelier, is it going to drop dead? If it breaks, does she, like, look for someone else? Like, these are real questions. No troll. That's, that's a real question. Although she loves all chandeliers, Lumiere is her leading lady. I proposed to Lumiere on Valentine's Day 2017, and it felt so right to me. But first, she needed someone else's blessing. I went to Libby first and I said, you know, are you all right with this? I was waiting for her energy, you know, and she gave me good energy. Like, she's just happy for me to do whatever makes me happy. No. <laughs> I just... <laughs> oh my goodness. I just have a question. <laughs> like... <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> Can't. I'm trying to hold it in and it's not working. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, so look, you, Amanda, you're telling me you had to ask permission to an inanimate object that can't necessarily communicate physically to you that you are now interested in someone, something else, you know what I mean? And then you said, oh, well, the energy, you know, like, she gave me the energy, so she pretty much just said, yeah, or... That technically is on you. Like, you can do whatever you want. You are the actual human who has a conscience, who can think about these types of decisions. They technically can't respond verbally to you. 
So evidently, you still made the decision on your own. I, I have to be making sense. I just, I don't know, I just found that so funny because it's just like, <laughs> you, you, you asked. You genuinely went out of your way and asked. I just would have did it because <laughs> I'm the grown up. And that was a funny one. I didn't have a giggle like that in a minute. It just says, Damien, you're the most fantastic thing in my life. You know, you're an amazing chandelier. You're everything that I could wish for. You make me so happy. No one's ever quite done it quite like you do it. And I said to her, would you be my wife when you commit to me for, for life? And, you know, she gave me positive energy, which said to me that she would love that. I put a ring on her finial and I was the happiest woman in the whole wide world. Oh, the ring's cute. But look, bigger question. You do keep mentioning energy. So are you psychic? How, how are you definitely sure of the answers that they are giving you. When it comes to like sexual preference and just sexuality, the spectrum's huge. We already have such a big discussion when it comes to that, like for real. But when it comes to now, we're talking about just the world at this point. Forget just a simple line spectrum. You have deep feelings, like a deep connection with inanimate objects, specifically. Things that can't directly have a sense of communication towards a human. It, this is just very fascinating as to like how are decisions made in the household. If you gotta take out the trash, you have to take it out. That lamp is not gonna just Just throwing that out there. And the blushing bride-to-be plans to show her love for Lumia in a commitment ceremony. We would like a small ceremony with maybe a few friends here, a celebration of our happiness and togetherness. You make me so happy, you do. With her vows, I'm going to tell Lumia how much I love her and what she means to me and what she does for me and vow that I'm going to always love her in my life and she'll always be a part of my life as long as I've got her in my body. Man, that's cute. I'm not going to lie. Obviously, I, you know, I wish her the best, but um, this is a very interesting topic. Like, I know I'd watched a video on this like a year ago or whatever, but I just find it ironic I came back to it. Like, that's just, that's just so fascinating, bro. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Oh, clean my room. Just being for real. But that's pretty much it for the video. It was a kind of short one today, so like, you know, if you wanted a longer one, we'll do it. We'll make another one, sure. Again, if you are new here by any chance whatsoever, please make sure to subscribe. For the people who are already here, or if you haven't already, make sure to follow me on Instagram. If you guys want any specific videos from me, just make sure to follow me on Instagram. I don't know, like a few pictures if you want to, sure. Like, I'd really appreciate it. And just actually DM me. Reach out that way, drop a link to a video you want me to check out, and I'll be glad to do it. If you guys want the rest of my socials, I'll just leave them in the description. But that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like. If you didn't like it, drop a thumbs down. Can't see the thumbs downs anymore, so it doesn't matter. And until my next video, I will see you guys soon. Peace out.